Right, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and week 41 of the off season, week one of the detox, pullback, reset sort of period. Still food and everything remains the same, talking to food. On goes some oats, but as I promised, you'll be seeing on the screen a couple of my transformation photos from the morning of the British final show day and then Friday morning checking photos, like I promised you, they'll be on the screen. And talking promises, I got this vanilla ice cream way to try the Conte repair. So while well, I've got 65 grams of oats, I'm have that and I'll make up the other 10 grams of my 40 grams with, <laughs> shows you everything but the flavor. Orange and mango, clear way. I have my creatine in there as well. Just makes for a more tasty way to have my creatine. That is for sure. 10 grams going in and I'll catch you in just a second to do the taste test. Right, here we have it in the bowl. Smells gorgeous. I did a very shameless thing and put my tongue in the sample packet to get all the taste tests of it previously and it, it tastes very, very good. So first initial thoughts are positive for taste test. <laughs> yeah, that gets a thumbs up for me. It is definitely oat suitable. <laughs> right, okay, it's down me. Get back to some check-ins and I'll catch back up with you tomorrow. I am just going through my vlog. You can see here the leg day part, but I forgot to take you through arms on Sunday. I said I'll catch you tomorrow on Saturday, which you'll just be seeing there. But today is Wednesday, but I'll quickly just catch you back up. Arms went really, really well. I took to resetting everything this week as a way to align myself in tandem with this detox on pullback not pullback in terms of much just in terms of de-stressing the body inside and out so on the outside we're just resetting our baseline numbers to allow me to progress over these next month or so as i refresh my body before the next push up so that as i progress through those initial weeks when i start my next push and final push before i look to the next competitive season i can pick up where i start to drop off and use the push as a way to propel myself forward for the push up and keep the progress sustainable moving forward rather than just beating myself up in this period where I can really just let my body reset. But you've seen a couple of clips on the screen, very happy with how everything looks. Pump was very good. I tried the new exercise as you can see. Obviously last week I used the, the dual rope and I did that again this week, but this week I went single arm with my rope hammers just because I found myself, the novelty of the exercise where I won't progress as much, when I'm feeling it is good. And I just wanted to try it out single arm to see how it went. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Going to run this up. It has a good scope for progression here. And it felt really good because my outer head, so my bicep long head, is the part of my arm that I want to improve to really enhance that peak and look in terms of fullness in my front shot. So not the, obviously double bicep but in my lat spread my thickness of my bicep in my most muscular my thickness of my bicep in the back shots especially the back double bicep the peak of my bicep this is just going to really help with those shots poses really bring up my arms so i need to make sure i'm nailing the exercises that focus on that part of the arm so that's the reason behind that and like i said pump shots were good <laughs> so catch you back in a sec for leg day right you know what that means we are out of the gym and the red t-shirt you know what that means we're out from legs quads what a session that was i went in there with a the mindset to reset i told you before i wanted to reset some of my lifts so we went in there tried something different with the leg extensions where i i did 58.9 for 15 i went to 68 for 15 and what i did i started on set two to really get that shortened range because obviously the leg extension is the best exercise we could do that bloody blah, blah and also first exercise really get the work done in the shortened range and most of the other exercises, as you can see, are lengthened, biased, the squatting patterns. So I did 68 on set two, 68 on set four, 68 on set one. And that was like my lead up into moving into my main squatting patterns, the main load progressors of the workout, which I reset. And as you can see from the elongated clip, so I have to drag out this talk through a little bit more than usual. I think oh, I put the wrong, put the wrong, I didn't. There's another thing here. I thought I put the wrong t-shirt in the bag, but obviously not. Here we go. Bear with me. All right, so we did five plates there and we got 15 reps. I went in there today, I was like, do you know what? I want to reset all my movements. I want to drop back to five plates and really get a grips of the 
of the load, the technique, the execution, the pauses and all that stuff. And then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to test myself and do an AMRAP. wrap. Usually I'm working in like the six to eight range on that top set, especially for cat squat. But as I pulled out my vest, there we go. I decided that I was going to get 15. Really, I probably had about 12 in me, but I had to cut that oomph. And no, really, I had 15. So that's what we did. Got 15 reps, very happy with that. But it took the life out of me. You can see as I racked, I was like creasing at myself because I couldn't believe, one, how I managed to get 15 reps with 200 kilos, but two, just how taxing that was in terms of cardio. And then we moved on to the pendulum squat where I did the exact same thing, but I took 12, which is definitely out of the rep range from what I'm used to doing on the pendulum squat as well. Really focusing on both movements, as you can see, on the constant tension and not taking those long pauses at the top of the rep, getting the fog straight back down into the next rep. Oh my God, the pump was incredible. I also reset my squat press just a 10 this week. I think I was all volumed out and all repped out by the time I got to my top set there. Reset my split squats, practice the pauses. I'm thinking of removing the split squats temporarily just because actually I want to move into a front elevated split squat and get more quad bias. I kept the regular split squat in just to get a bit of extra glute work, but I feel like I don't really need that from all the squatting patterns and the heavy squat pressing patterns. I can get enough indirect glute work from there. So the indirect glute work on top from the split squats with the back foot elevated is just not as necessary. So I'm going to trial that as of next week. That is something I thought of as I was walking out of the gym. Talking of being out of the gym, we've got the cereal time, 40 grams of whey and 80 grams of cereal 35 grams each of grass krispies and cocoa pops and yet the 10 made through retos retos of course wheat based compared to the other two rice based so keep those higher just because the rice base is a lot more rapidly absorbing less fiber all that good stuff but i do love some wheat so just chuck in a couple of grams of that just for the variety and the taste because i really do like them so here we go palm shots are also on the screen i forgot to mention would you be seeing them or maybe just be seeing them depending on how long i've rattled on for and kept you super happy with the pump honestly you can see i couldn't hold the flexion for too long where my pump was so so horrible i couldn't like keep them flex but regardless it was a savage pump and i'll catch you in a bit right just bear with me all right so yeah the light is on i'm just about to jump in a call in a minute i've got a meeting so that hence the monster so up. Honestly, there aren't too many better sounds, eh? Right. But just before I get in the meeting, I wanted to run you through a delivery that I've got. Right. So first and foremost, health. Health is wealth. The love heart. Keep that heart in check when we're putting through these and piling them in size. <laughs> and then magnesium as well. I have up my dose to two. And I have so 500 mg. Um, 2,000 mg of bisglycinate, and that's about 500 mg of magnesium. So help me sleep at night. I'm feeling fresher anyway for it. But what we're here to see is the cream of rice finally back in stock. We've got the custard cream, my AM goat back in stock, ready to go. And then I just uh, there was no salted caramel, so I'm going back to the chocolate peanut butter cup. So I'm just about a cup, obviously I'm gonna mix in almond butter with that and it's going to make for a brilliant concoction with my whey as well. So what a combination. Uh, still 120s in the, in the AM at the moment. Feeling lighter as well, so hopefully the food will stay. Obviously being on my pullback detox, we've got some weight likely to drop off, just holding condition before we go again. And the phone's ringing, so I'll catch you tomorrow. Right, I'm in my office. I've just moved everything around because my office is a makeshift check-in area. So I just moved all my stuff out of the way, ready for check-in tomorrow because that is what's going on. On the screen, you'll be seeing a few clips from back. What a session that was. T-Bar Rose, up an extra rep from the week before. Use this week as a reset week, but for the movements that I was getting on with and didn't necessarily need that reset for, let me see if I'm... Oof. A little bit washed out there. I'll go back over here. Yeah, the ones that didn't need the reset for, I just carried on progressing and we'll keep running up the scope of progression for I reset that while I was in my push up phase. So then we got the Prime City Royal. I wanted to try a new training system here. 
I was doing before my top set and then a second top set with more load in the length and range. What I have done instead is instead of doing my two build up pyramid sets, top set and the second top set, I've done a warm up, then my top set. Because this is in the workout, I've done four sets of lap pull downs and four sets of T bar rows here using the Prime kit. I did one warm up set and I did three working sets. So a top set, a top set, and a top set, all using the same weight. But firstly, all loaded in the mid range. Secondly, split almost 50 50. I had 40 and 50 for the 90 kg on the top set there. And then 80 10. So mostly primarily length and loaded for that third set. So similar to the two stages I did before, I just exaggerated the mid range loading for a initial set and then the two sets to follow. I'll do a few reps of each there just so this little montage compilation doesn't go for too long. The single arm row I was doing on the prime extreme row was broken because you know what happens when people drop it from the top of the rep it does tend to get a bit broken so that wasn't in order today so i brought back the barbell rows i wasn't really getting on along with them that's why we swapped out for the dumbbell rows didn't like it moved on to the machine row brought back the barbell rows i kind of enjoyed it 100 kilos for a top set there 10 reps felt good really focused on really retra retracting my scapula and squeezing my shoulder blades just let my arm rest for a second because it's going numb here and i'm back yeah and the final exercise being shown will be the deadlift set and a warm up by 10 a feeder and then a top set of 180 by 7 as you can see really slowed down the tempo i actually did a back off on this set to make the full set because i felt ready to go so i went and then i did another set afterwards and i got eight with 140 afterwards really exaggerating that eccentric tempo really making sure the tension was on my back and not using my stronger body parts so my quads and my glutes to drive that weight up from the floor felt it a lot and it showed in the pump shots which you'll also be seeing following these exercises as well had a call with the empty tank team then uh another call with brad afterwards and then i finished my steps had my cream of rice filming this and then I'm going to get myself into bed ready for checking in the morning. Happy with the palm shots. My mid back and my erectors, my thickness in my mid back and my lats have really just come on leaps and bounds since the show. So come next show day, my weakest shot will hopefully become a strength of mine. I'm doing everything that I can to make that happen anyway. And next time you see me, I'll take you through the check-in. Right, so we weighed in at 101 kilos this morning. That's a 2.4 kilo drop this week. That reset week really did hit. Lost a lot of inflammation. I say lost, dropped, because it's a good thing we <laughs> didn't lose it. We got rid of it. Looking a lot sharper in these checking photos you'll be seeing on the screen. Happy with the look. Haven't made any changes to food other than taking out the hash browns two times a week. And look at what having no hash browns and putting the hash browns does to a physique it tightens it right up but we lose a little bit of fullness that's okay it's what this health phase detox reset is all about dropping that inflammation letting the body settle letting the joints heal keeping the priority and focus on health I'm trying to interrupt my my segment my section of the video yeah all, all was positive i'm knackered you can see my eyes hey if he was getting to me run my eyes the chest session went extremely well match reps on the incline dumbbell press that you'll be seeing following the checking photos but the control the tempo the connection with the chest the execution all improved so that is a that's progression in itself it doesn't always have to be progression in terms of the weight it doesn't have to always be progression in terms of the reps but also the quality and execution of those reps is a third and just as important form of progression and then the pump shots to show off the pump we are still moving very much forward even though it's a reset and a detox and a health phase there's not any reason to let th things slip or stay the same because if you're not moving forward you're moving backwards even if you're standing still someone else is moving ahead of you so although my weight has gone down my progress has still moved forward training performance is going up health is staying in a good spot physique is tidied up so it's all positives and keeping focused on the end goal because after these next few weeks it will be the final push to get to my all-time biggest and best before we look to get into the second season and the start of prep so that is what i had to look forward to i'm gonna get my fifth meal one and i will catch you all in the next one i hope you did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already click the notification bell so you don't miss when we upload and i will catch you in the next one